Mm. Derived an oh, expression oh, which yes. gave us the spin orbit interaction term that is delta E ls actually it was an interaction between l and s which was equal to actually r infinity alpha square z4 hc divided by 2 n cube l into l plus one half l plus one then this term plus one so we all know that r infinity is equal to m e4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h cube c and alpha is e square by 2 epsilon naught h c this is the fine structure constant this is the value of the energy that interaction energy or that interaction is a perturbation because of that interaction then we Calculated the term shift actually delta T L S, which is nothing but it is a shift in the energy. Which was minus R infinity alpha square Z4 divided by 2n cube L into L plus one half. Then it is same term. We also completed these things for the hydrogen atom. We calculated the values for hydrogen atom and we found that it is dependent on Z4 divided by n cube into L. So this was because of the interaction between the spin and orbital magnetic moments and due to the in the field through this orbital motion of the nucleus. There is another interaction or the perturbation term in this hydrogen spectra. And these perturbation terms result in the extra features or the extra components in the spectra. And another one is that, which is the relativistic correction. relativistic correction that means we have not taken into consideration the relativistic effects while we treated the hydrogen atom problem where we derived the spectra or where we derived the energy corrections in the Bohr theory so in this case what we will use so a relativistic correction so we are taking into consideration the relativistic effects which are important actually because this relativistic effects uh, produce the energy shifts in the hydrogen atom as the shift in the energy is due to the spin orbit interaction in the same manner there is a shift because of the relativistic effects uh, in the hydrogen atom or in any hydrogen like atoms so in order to calculate what we will use we know that we will consider actually the relativistic hamiltonian h of the electron so for h we know that it is k kinetic energy plus potential energy. This K is actually relativistic because of the motion or the speed. Relativistic kinetic energy. Or, and this V is the potential energy. Now we know that if you have already done this K is under root of p square c square plus m zero square c four and it is minus m naught c square for a relativistic particle because the electron is treated as a relativistic particle here and this p is the linear momentum this we all know m naught is the rest mass of the electron So we can write then h is equal to p square c square plus m0 square c4 raised to power 1 by 2 minus m0 and c square plus v this is the potential energy. 
I can write it as I will take m naught c square common and it is 1 plus p square by m naught c square raised to power 1 by 2 minus so we or we can write it as it is m naught c square I will expand this term with the help of binomial term and I can write it as 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 p square by m naught square c square yeah it is square here yes it is square so m naught square c square minus 1 by 8 8 is 1 over 8 p4 divided by m not 4 c4 plus higher order terms minus sorry minus there is some issue with the pen okay no problem m not c square plus v so i expanded this term actually by the binomial term and i can write it as m naught c square this m naught c square into one plus p square by two m naught cube no m naught square m naught m naught into m naught will be multiplied and c and c will gone so it will remain only m naught here yes this will multiply it okay then there is minus it is one by eight there will be m naught q because one will cancel with the numerator and there will be p4 plus higher order terms and plus v and there sorry there is one minus m naught c square so this and this will cancel out thus we are left with p square by 2m naught minus p4 this is one here so just remember that this is one into p4 divided by 8m naught cube c square plus higher order terms plus v now this if you see that this is a ground state energy p square by 2m that is kinetic energy so this is an unperturbed term I can write it as um, k zero simply or if I add this with this it will become h zero so this term plus this term these both will form h zero and plus I can write h dash which is from this term onwards okay so this becomes the unperturbed part this becomes the perturbed part now i have i can write more higher order terms but the problem is that it's not a problem like we can we don't need them actually here the reason is that that uh, the relativistic correction it is there but it is very small and when it is very small so we don't need to consider the higher order terms so we can restrict ourselves to the first order term which is there so our relativistic correction term will remain that means the change in hamiltonian h due to relativistic correction is minus p4 m cube c square and there is a so there is actually h there this is the relativistic correction actually so we have to find the energy shift because of this term so what will be the energy shift in the spectrum or in the spectra we observed in the hydrogen atom between those liners so because of this energy term this correction term so we have to find this so how we calculate this 
perturbation theory from the perturbation theory. So I will use the operator for P. This is the momentum. And these terms are the constant in the denominator. So I can write it as minus one over eight M naught Q C. I can write it as H four divided by 16 pi four in and delta four, del four. Okay, this is 16 pi four here. Here and it is pulsed here, so minus is already there. Yeah, it is minus will be there. Sorry, so this minus is there. See, this is the term. And in order to calculate the perturbation, we will take we will, we have to take the wave function for that, and we will take the unperturbed wave function of the hydrogen atom, which is the first order energy shift for the first order energy shift. So we can write the correction due to this term will be delta E R. I can write minus minus integral of psi naught h4 or let me write directly p4 here for the simplicity p4 and psi naught d tau. So can we write it? But there is another constant term here 1 by 8 m naught q c square. Okay. Now this is in other term, other words, the, this way we can write it as in the Brian cat notation and L, ML and MJ. This is P4 Can we write it? This yeah, in the Brian cat notation, and there is this factor eight m naught q c square. Now, if you see, this is a constant, so we need this. Have you done somewhere? Yes, sir. Sorry, Kujay, it's the expectation sorry. value of the P four actually. Yeah. For the ground state wave function, a uh, first order energy correction. So I have it here. Let me show it. This is it. Yes, this it here is NLP4 NL is stationary state of NL of hydrogen atom. Okay, so this is done here. I will send it. It is in uh, Zetli. If you remember the page 384 and 385, here he has written a uh, P4 from the Schrodinger equation, h square equal p square by 2m minus z. It is z e square actually here. So he has uh, not kept z there. It's a constant for a given atom. So that's why he has not written it there. And if you see it clearly, uh, I think you can do it. So this h is equal to p square by 2m minus e square. It's p square. He has derived the p square from this equation. So here it is p square by 2m into h, and he has keep put up these values here. And if you see it, just solve it. Then E square by R whole square for P4, because P square is this much. So scaring this term, it will give us P4. Then he has separated it here. And I think you have done it. So this is the final value what he has obtained in this what we can obtain from here. So we will use directly this value instead of P4 there. And I can write then so I can write then delta ER will be equal to 1 by 8 m naught cube c square into value of this expectation value of the p4 which is mb4 e8 by h cut 4 n4 and all this so i will write it here 8n by 12 plus 1 minus 3 
It's a mass of electron actually M E4. So I will write simply M4 E8 because we have taken it M here into H cut 4 H4 into because there is H cut it is written there and so replacing that H cut by H I can write it as There's H cut, so I can write it as 16 pi 4. Yeah, 16 pi. So so let me keep H cut 4 and N4 here, Philal, for the time being. N4. So this is the expression which we can which we have obtained by using the this expectation value of this all this four. Uh, this uh, P4. And if you solve it further, uh, and there are different variations, uh, not variation versions of this expression, but the result is same. Like if you see in the z it is the expression seems to be different. But if you see in the spectroscopy book, it seems to be different. But the final expression is actually same because they have put up the constants like a naught, alpha, r infinity, and some has put it up and some has not. Yeah, it is only the perturbed part. This is the perturbed part. This is a perturbation in due to the relativistic effects. So this is not a ground state actually. This is the energy shift actually because of the perturbation. And we can further simplify it. Like I can write it here. It is one by eight m naught q c square. And remember that there is a z also, z square, z4 will be there, c square into m4 e8 divided by, it is h4, I will write it h into n4 because h cut is h by 2 pi, so it is 2 pi raised to power 4, 8n by 12 plus 1 minus 3, okay? And I can write it as, it is one by eight. Let us cancel out the terms here. Okay. And uh, one by eight, there is M. Do not confuse with this. So one by eight, there will be M naught actually. I will take that M naught equal to M here. Everywhere, wherever I have written. So M. So it will be M here. It is E8 into, it is 16. Okay, then there is pi four here. Then I can write here, it is C square H4 N4 8N by 12 plus one minus three. If you solve this equation, it is two M E8 pi 4 divided by c square h4 n4 8 and by 2l plus 1 minus 3. So if you solve this equation and use the values like if we use alpha equal to e square by 2 epsilon naught hc this is also equal to h cut by mc a naught and where a naught is equal to h square or H cut, you can take the H cut or H square. Divided by E square M into pi. So these are the terms. And if you take also into consideration the R infinity, and you can derive this relation here actually, alpha is, this is the alpha uh, from this, this is from the Zetli book and this is from the spectroscopy, but the values are same actually. Finally, if you use the values of H cut A naught, you will get up this equation. You will find this equation. So if we use these values, I can write that delta ER will be equal to alpha 4 M E4 C4 divided by N4 8 n by 12 plus 1 minus 3. 
I can also write it as there is that four term. Please remember that there is that four. And it is minus there. There is a minus from the beginning from that P4. So I can write delta ER is equal to minus Z4 alpha 4 this ME4. C4, oh sorry, there is this term also. So I can write it as alpha square minus into alpha square into ME4 in terms of R infinity. If you use, if you want to use the Redberg constant. So I can write it as minus alpha square. It is e square by two epsilon naught hc whole square into me4. This is mass of electron actually. It is not e raised power four. It's mass of electron here. So m4 c4 divided by n4 into one by eight mq c square into eight n by 12 plus one minus three. I just want to derive the expression in terms of R infinity alpha. So there is Z4 also here. I write it. So it is minus alpha square Z4. So if you now here see you can end up the terms. This is square here. So this is E4. It becomes M E4. This m cube and m will cancel out here let me change the color this c square here too there is yes so m e4 divided by i can write 8 this 8 epsilon naught square from this term h cube h square from here and I'm multiplying H, there will be H in the numerator. There will be C as well. So there is HC because I have multiplied it here. Into one by four N four, eight N divided by 12 plus one minus three. Or uh, I can write it as minus is minus alpha 4 alpha square sorry and this is z4 there is this is r infinity actually this term this bracket is r infinity and there is hc divided by 4 and 4 We can write it as it is alpha square z4 r infinity what i will do uh, there is hc let it be here and i will take this there's 8n there is 4 and 4 so i will take 4n inside the bracket there we will be left with n cube so 8n divided by 4n into 12 plus 1 minus 3 by 4n. So this is minus alpha square z4 r infinity hc divided by n cube into this is uh, 2 by 2 into l plus 1 by 2. Okay, minus 3 by 4n. Simple mathematics, there is nothing new in this. So it is 20 to our left with cancelled L plus 1 by half minus 3 by 4. This is the same. If you see the last expression which we derived yesterday, they are they look similar actually. 
they look similar they're not exactly similar but they look similar and they at least this part r infinity alpha and z4 and if you want this is the energy correction simply er if you want now to calculate the shift the shift in the terms in the spectral line that is the term shift so you have to divide by hc the term shift is delta tr that is for the relativistic part and that will be equal to delta er divided by hc which will be equal to minus alpha square z4 r infinity divided by n cube hc will be cancelled is minus here so when it is a minus this will become plus is the term shift for the relativistic correction and this is the final expression for this if you are not doing the term shift you are not calculating in terms of the terms you can write this expression as well this is as this is valid as this expression is valid so there is no problem in writing only that part now if for hydrogen atom now the hydrogen fine structure hydrogen fine structure these are the two contributions there is one more contribution we will derive that later on that is called darwin term that we will do later this hydrogen fine structure has two contributions one was that spin orbit interaction another one is this which is called a relativistic correction so the net shift or the net correction in the energy total the net term shift or the energy correction whatever you would like to calculate let's calculate the term shift due to both spin orbit interaction and the relativistic effect is given by delta t which will be delta t ls plus delta t r relativistic okay and this is minus see the rest of this expression this infinity here this is not alpha this is alpha i have taken something common from both l plus 1 plus or infinity alpha square z4 divided by n cube this is today's derivation 1 by l plus 1 by half minus 3 by 4n there is some issue with the pen today i don't know it is because i think because of moisture so i can write it as so i am taking the total this term is already negative when we derive with this this is it this is yesterday this is due to the spin orbit this is due to the relativistic part i can write it as r infinity z4 alpha square divided by n cube so what i will do i will put up a bracket here and i will write it 1 over l plus 1 by 2 it is this term first okay 
minus 3 by 4n this so this part is complete now see here minus minus will be from this term r infinity z4 alpha square is already taken common divided by n cube so there is left we are left with 1 over 2l into l plus half into l plus 1 into j into j plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 minus s into s plus 1 this is it now this is the expression it is now use for the values for because s is 1 by 2 j is equal to l plus half minus half so when you put up these values we have already derived yesterday from the last class that j into j plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 minus s into s plus 1 is equal to l for j equal to and this is equal to minus of l, l plus 1 for j equal to l minus half so we will use in above equation these two values and we can write for delta t will be equal to r infinity alpha square z4 divided by n cube it is 1 by L plus half. If you put up the values there in this third term, there's a moisture actually because I'm not able to move it. L plus 1 minus 3 by 4n, and there is here. Plus. L by minus L by sorry to L L plus one by two. L plus one by two. Yes, L plus one by two into there is if J is got L plus S, so this is L. L. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is L plus one by two here. So we can write it gives us delta t is equal to r infinity alpha square sorry we can do it easily now so it is l divided one by not l one by two minus three by four n and it is minus if you solve it, it will be L square divided by L, it is 12 plus 1 L plus 1. So just go on solving it and you will find that. This is also 1 by 12 plus 1 and this is 2 here minus this is 1 here okay yeah it is 1 so this is L this is not no L square this is only L okay good minus L divided by it is uh, if you solve it so it will be 12 
let us solve it further. Yes, sir. Oh. So this is L here. Okay, we can cancel out the L now. Yes. Let me remove it. So I can write it as it is R infinity alpha square Z4 divided by N Q. It is one by let it be L plus one by two minus three by four M minus one by 12 plus 1 into L plus 1. Except that L and L will cancel out there. Okay. Mm, this is. So I can write it L infinity L plus square. This is simply mathematics actually. So you need to do some work here. And I can write it as 1 by L plus 1 half minus 3 by 4n minus 1 by so I can take it one by this is uh, I can write it as uh, let me take two into L plus, uh, into L plus one. Uh, no, sir. L plus one cancel hoga. Second term. Two into L plus one by half. Yeah. Yeah. This is okay. Yeah. Okay. Now see these two exp these two expressions, these and this. If I simply solve them, you will you are left with one by L plus one. If you solo in two terms, you will be left with one by L plus one. So, so it, you can do it, I tried to do it. And if there is any problem, let me know. So I will directly write the result now here. Three by four n. This is for j equal to l plus half. Now j equal to l minus half will be, similarly, I can use that value r infinity alpha square z4 divided by n cube into 1 by l that will remain minus by l divided by e minus 4 m. These are the two equations. This is the term shift, net term shift because of the spin orbit plus relativistic in case of hydrogen atom. So this is for hydrogen atom. We also know that j equal to l plus uh, it gives us l will be equal to j minus 1 by 2. Okay. We can write it. We can also write it as since uh, j equal to L minus half. So it gives us L will be equal to J plus 1 by 2. Okay. So if you put up this value in the above equation. Sorry. So use it in use for j equal to l plus half equation delta t in this equation here. Yes. So if you use this value here and this value here for L. So if you use these two values, Try to do this and let me know what you are getting it from this. Sir, 
हमें निकल रहा है जो ये कांस्टेंट वैल्यूज है और आता है वन बाई जी प्लस हाफ माइनस थ्री बाई फोर एन और दूसरे में आएगा वन बाई जी माइनस हाफ माइनस थ्री फोर एन थ्री बाई फोर एन there will be a single equation actually what i am seeing that if you use this value you will find that delta will t will be given by a same equation in both the cases if you put up these values l equal to j minus half and j plus half so j equal to l plus half and j equal to l minus half two equations can be replaced by yes, a single sir, equation same. yes sir same equations are here dono are in a same so we can write then yes sir delta t will be equal to n is not working today so delta t will be equal to r infinity alpha square z4 divided by n cube into 1 by j plus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4n is it is it clear yes sir clear okay yes sir okay so this is the equation net term shift due to the relativistic and the spin orbit interaction for the hydrogen fine structure uh, this uh, hydrogen fine structure spectra actually fine structure of the spectra so at the spectra those doublets and other additional components are there because of the external perturbations actually because of these perturbations like this relativistic effect and the uh, that uh, Spin orbit interaction, so they act as a perturbation. So those perturbations actually shift those energy levels, and there is a net shift in those liners, which give rise to those doublets. That is why they are separated, and that this is a net. This term shift by including both the contributions into the spectra. Yes, 